In the long march of history, few minds stand out as boldly as Eratosthenes of Cyrene, the man who dared to measure the size of the earth over 2,000 years ago. Living in the 3rd century BCE, during the golden age of the Library of Alexandria, Eratosthenes was not just a mathematician, he was a polymath, a geographer, astronomer, poet, and philosopher. Born in Cyrene, a Greek colony in present-day Libya, Eratosthenes' early brilliance earned him recognition across the Mediterranean world. His education brought him to Athens, where he immersed himself in philosophy, literature, and mathematics. Eventually, his reputation for wide-ranging knowledge led Ptolemy III to invite him to Alexandria, where he became chief librarian of the greatest repository of knowledge in the ancient world. It was there that he made his most famous discovery. By comparing the angle of the sun's rays at noon in Syene and Alexandria, he calculated Earth's circumference with astonishing accuracy. His result, just a few hundred miles off from modern measurements, was a feat that seemed impossible in his time. He also devised the sieve of Eratosthenes, a method to find prime numbers, and was among the first to suggest the concept of leap years. Eratosthenes' legacy is profound. He is often called the father of geography, having created one of the earliest maps of the known world. His curiosity and methodical approach inspired future scientists and explorers, laying the foundation for astronomy, navigation, and mathematics. Yet, not all saw him as a genius. Some critics in his time mocked his broad pursuits, nicknaming him Beta, second best in everything. But history remembers him not for narrow mastery, but for daring to ask questions no one else had asked. Eratosthenes reminds us that the power of observation and reason can reveal truths about the universe. From measuring shadows to mapping the globe, his genius echoes through science and discovery even today.